What's up, all inners, and welcome to another episode of the All In Podcast presented by Excellency Esports. Man, that sounds pretty cool to say. Yes, we are partnered uh, with them, uh, showing on Thursdays as of this point, part of their broadcast, and excited to uh, be part of it. Uh, for now, we will still be live streaming on Tuesdays at uh, around 9, 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. We try to get a set schedule, but, you know, we're we're working, guys. We got things going on in our lives, and we got to kind of, you know, figure out a way that we can... Uh, try to get the show uh, in a timely manner but as always i'm joined by the guys we got mitchell kevin allister uh week two in the books a lot of craziness this is nalcs so you never know what you're gonna get um I, you know we got to start with my team tsm one because i'm kind of controlling you know where we're going right now on the show so i'm gonna start with tsm because that's my <laughs> team but two y'all didn't believe at the one time i doubted them they go three and oh and they do this to me as a fan every time but dude i thought tsm played great are you guys on the hype train yet or are you are you still no, leave, no. Oh <laughs> you said God. no <laughs> uh, I didn't even get like any kind of like uh, nothing. No, huh? Okay, they so lo- they beat TL and almost and lo- won a game they should not have won against CLG. I'm not convinced. I no. I mean, I mean, come on. All right, come on. Is, got- okay, is Immortals any better? <laughs> they beat TL. Yes, and that's a big win right there. Come on, man. And then TSM beat Immortals, and then TSM Immortal- beat TL. So maybe yeah. TL is just bad, guys. I mean, right? that's possible. Yeah, yeah. possible. I'm, that is I'm another not, thing. I, I am uncomfortable as a fan. I'm not willing to say they're bad yet, but they definitely have shown instability. Especially in yeah. to um <laughs> just lost TSM. Time. They lost to TSM uh, and Immortals. Yeah. yeah. And another team, Hundred Thieves. But well, back to Thieves TSM. Hundred Thieves isn't as bad, it's true. Back to TSM though, yes, we do have to give them some credit, obviously. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Thank they, you. They played a really clean game against Team Liquid, like one of the cleanest I've seen anyways. They just choked them out. It felt like uh, TEM Liquid really couldn't do anything yeah. in that game. But am I on the hype train? No. Because we're going to go to predictions in like a half hour or something, <laughs> and we're all going to be looking at it, and we're going to start predicting TSM again, and they're going to go with a 3. <laughs> it happens every freaking week, man. We say they're going to go 3-0, they go 3 Oh, they're going to go 3 they go 3 That's just TSM. So, I am not on the hype train. Um, I have a feeling we're going back to new patch. They suck. Second week of patch, they're going to be good. So, but actually, no, this is the new patch. This is the new patch, huh? That was first week new patch. No, ah, yeah, so this is so second maybe they're week, so they it. should go 3-0 and again. If, if or your theory is reverse. Right. <laughs> They're going to three in the second week of the new patch. <laughs> you know, uh, it, it doesn't yeah. surprise me. The TSM and just NA in general, like, how do you pin them down? Like, as – look, we're not professional analysts, but even the professionals couldn't predict this stuff. Like, this is just – out of the blue, like bonky. Like we got EG here being coin flip. We got Team Liquid losing. We got TSM all of a sudden looking like a completely different team. What is happening? I don't know. But one thing I can say about TSM that for me, because we've been harping about how bad their drafts have been and how their approach to the game on a macro level has been pretty shaky. I really thought they did a much better job drafting. Um, I thought they did a much better job in their macro. I still think their laning is weak. Um, I mean, they just don't have really any winning lanes. Like, even PoE is not really winning his lane uh, for whatever reason. But their macro was much better. Their early game, I thought, was still a little shaky, a little bit better. But I felt like they came together as a team, played the map better. And as a result, because of their comps, because of their win conditions, and and just their overall team synergy, I think they, they looked good. So, I mean... That, to me, looks like a positive. I mean, hot take, they didn't draft well. Um, the okay. game against Team Liquid, we were sitting in a Discord, all the friends who usually watch together, and we're like, yeah, a t- Team of Some just did a really lazy draft, I would say. It had a lot of pieces of, like, let's just scale to late and pray it will we'll survive it. And they played a really good macro game, I'll give them that. It was a very clean game, but the draft was not fixed. Picking Azir, Kaisa, and Nara again is not fixing you anything. Um... So I think that they played their rotations well. They had a really good game plan and they executed, but that's what they showed us last year too. They used to have some of the best early games and then they would just lose the game. This time they closed it out. 
I don't know if it's because Luca couldn't get it together or if it, they actually were just better. But um, I, I wouldn't give him credit for draft. I would give him credit for macro play as well as like slightly improved laning. But honestly, it could just be because they snowballed. Their laning was still like they were behind in lanes and it's not going to go that far. And then they beat two lower tier teams afterward. Even Which, if Immortals has won but, two big games, they aren't good. You guys yeah. both, uh, actually, all y'all predicted both GG and Immortals to beat TSM. Yikes. So, yep. <laughs> <laughs> bottom and, tier uh, team are all not. All three teams to beat TSM. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, I want to go uh. back, though, to, to your draft. Like, I can maybe give you that, but as I watched the co-stream of Double Lift, you know, watching the game between Team Liquid mm-hmm. and TSM, and he actually thought the other the other way of what you were saying, Kevin. He actually uh-huh. thought when he was watching draft that TL lost on draft. I don't know the ins of outs, ins and outs of why exactly, but when he was watching their picks, uh, even early on, he was like, Team Liquid lost. He's like, their, their draft is whatever, doo-doo. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I see some synergy in their draft. Like, I don't think it's terrible, but... Uh, for whatever reason, Double it thought that TL's draft was bad. And I won't say that, that TSM's draft was the best in this game, but I did like uh, their their draft against Immortals. Uh, picking the Shen, uh, the Hecarim, uh, the Pantheon, all of those with the Shen ult, like that, that seemed to look so good. Um, again, anytime you could proactively use Shen ult, Shen's ult, I think that's how you're supposed to do it. And just seeing Pantheon, you know, man drop somewhere with Shen ulting him uh, was pretty awesome. And then seeing Hecarim just dive right in with his ult and, and Shen ulting him just seemed like it had a lot of really good synergy. And uh, I really enjoyed seeing it. And that, so so for me, that to me looked like an, a, a cool, interesting draft, a draft that is not typical of what, you know, we see from them usually. I mean, this is a proactive draft, proactive yes. comp, and they execute it, so... Yes, yeah, that I, draft I liked. By God, the way, thank that you, draft thank was you. that was a decent <laughs> draft. I want to talk about the Team Liquid uh, TSM draft Go and ahead. why Doublelift thinks Team Liquid had a bad draft. Mm-hmm. I think it's a lot to do with uh, the Graves and Zoe pick. Mm. Um, they don't really like. I think Azir is a really good matchup into Zoe, and I'm pretty sure TSM early picked Azir and they countered with Zoe. If I remember correctly, maybe it's not, but. Um, I'm seeing in a lot of different regions right now, early picks on Azir. Uh, it's a lot in LEC yeah. and in LCS. Early mm-hmm. picking Azir, blinding it. Uh, I guess teams don't think that there are good counters to Azir right now. Like the normal one is Corky and yeah. Syndra. And Corky and Syndra are not as strong right now because you can build a uh, Verdant Barrier. So uh, for those who don't know, Verdant Barrier just got buffed. So it's the component building into Banshees. It's like the magic resistance for Seekers. And... Burst mages are not very good right now. Zoe, Syndra, right? Yeah. Those are the counters, or not Zoe, but Syndra um, is a really big counter to Azir, and Azir doesn't care much about Verdant Barrier because he does the same damage, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I do think also the Graves is kind of a bait pick right now. It yeah. doesn't do much unless you have a lot of setup, right? Yeah. And it's also, it's really rough playing into a bunch of ranged champions, which TSM had Nar, Lilia, Azir in, in the top side. Um, so yeah, that's why I think Doublelift didn't like that draft. I do think, um, yeah, I think TSM's comp was also easier to execute, right? Uh, I don't, I also, I'm not a fan of the Kennen. Um, you can build all Merc Treads on the side of Team TSM yeah. and mm-hmm. get a lot of value. Yeah, so for sure. I think those are the draft reasons why... Team Liquid's draft was not that great. Maybe TSM's draft wasn't good, but it was better than T- Team Liquid's, and that's the comparison. Um, I thought that was a really interesting draft. Um, yeah. That's a good one to look at, and Team Liquid's definitely going to be VOD reviewing and being like, how did we lose? How could we have won harder from Champion Select, and how could we play better in-game? Because in-game, it did feel like nobody could touch Azir. There wasn't mm-hmm. a single champion that could lock down and kill the Azir, right? He builds Merc Treads, he builds Banshee's Veil, all of a sudden, your Zoe and Kennen and your Nautilus, they can't do anything against his ear. Um, so, yeah. yeah. I think also, like, uh, one, I was really happy to see Power of Evil, you know, finally pop off like we were all, you know, expecting that he would. Took a while. <laughs> Took a while, but he, he started to look much better. I was really pleased to see that. Uh, still got some questionable plays from Sword Art, like that flash stun with Pantheon, uh, you know, even though Tactical Stab Cleanse uh, was a little bit weird, but whatever, mm-hmm. you know, they're still gelling. They made it work. Um you know, for me, I think, um, you know, seeing 
Team Liquid draft almost seems like they're still trying to flex, like, as far as, like, you know, they, they got these drafts and maybe don't look the best or even are okay, but they're super difficult to execute, whereas they could probably pick something a little easier because they're so good, they should be able to win. But it almost seems like sometimes they're drafting harder to execute comps and then basically beating themselves. And I'm wondering, it's like almost like they're limit testing. Um, and I don't know if I like that as much uh, because teams are definitely taking advantage of it. I, and, you know, I don't know what yeah. else is going on behind them, but they just don't look good right now. I, I have a lot to say about Team Liquid's drafting, especially against 100 Thieves, man. They picked, like, what, four range champions in a rel? Yeah. What are you guys doing against a split push comp? You gave you gave Hundred Thieves Renekton, Olaf, and Twisted Fate. That's miserable, man. You can't. What are you guys doing? Why are you picking yeah. four ranged into that? Uh, you you want to split push with Quinn and Jensen, and your core or Quinn and Rise, and your core is Rel, Kaisa, Lilia. Like you you're not gonna be able to split push against a Twisted Fate, yeah. right? And you're not going to be able to side lane against a Renekton and a Twisted Fate and a, an Olaf. Like, mm -hmm. their team fight's also bad too, right? Because your only engage is Rel, and then everybody else has to kite from the side. Where 100 Thieves comp, they literally got some of their best champions. I know. They didn't even ban. The whole game. I don't think they even banned Galio. I mean, T I mean, obviously not TF either, but, you know, those are Demont. Yeah. That's like banning 101. They banned against Orianna. Them. Yeah. They banned Orianna and Senna. I mean, I get the Senna ban. But, like, at least ban Twisted Fate, right? At least, like... And I don't... I don't like the Quinn counter into Renekton. I've always hated the Quinn counter into Renekton. Same. Ever since uh, the Shy first did it uh, at Season 8 Worlds, I think. And he took Cleanse, and everybody just started taking Cleanse, Quinn, top lane into it. Like, I don't care if you go up 20 CS. Renekton is just going to one-shot the enemy ADC anyways. And yeah. Quinn is going to get CC'd in teamfights and die. Like, I hate it. I hate it. I've always hated it. I just want Alfari to stop playing Kennen and Quinn. Like, go. you have such a wide champion pool. The thing is, it's not like he did terrible on Quinn either. I mean, he was 4-1-5. He had no and impact. Five. That's, that's, yeah. that's the key. He didn't have an impact. There's no, I mean, like, there's no good on having, like, good KDA making a couple plays here and there. The objective is to have an impact for your team. And he definitely didn't um, do that because I yeah. just don't think that champion. Bruisers are broken. Like, yeah. Bruisers exactly. are so broken right now. Tanks are broken too, man. I mean, Just play them. Know, L L LEC, they played Quinn and they won with it. I think it was G2 or a Fnatic played it and they dominated with that pick. I I don't think it's necessarily bad per se. It hard it like it made Renekton look like a fool the whole time. Um, and it it's was hard like to the was called Renekton. It, it can be good. Yeah. And yeah. I I agree. So to defend myself, I think Liquid had worse drafts than DSM, but I don't think DSM had good drafting. It's not intelligent draft just because you beat a team that's basically doing a brain dead draft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I was very frustrated because I think Liquid is still thinking we're going to make playoffs, so we're just going to keep playing like things we see in LEC or LCK or LPL. We're mm -hmm. just going to keep trying to execute these comps. Every time Alfari locks in Kennen, I'm just like, oh god, why yeah. are we having someone who's so good at like bruiser carries and like it's a ribbon meta, it's a Camille meta. I know Camille sometimes banned, but like. Why are we picking Kennen here? He doesn't make any sense for him to play Kennen. That's like that's what you use impact for. Yeah. It's the same mm -hmm. reason we we penalize Perks on C9. Why are you using him on Galio duty when he's not really a Galio player? Yeah, definitely doesn't make sense at all. Um, I mean, totally agree. I, and I, that's one of those things. Like we we've been seeing this, you know, not just recently, but in the past few weeks, we've been seeing them kind of make these weird. Uh, drafts, but um, I, I don't like it as well because uh, it's basically you're trying to follow the meta, but you're not doing it well. Um, and I think they need to start getting some of these wins uh, under their belt because it does matter. Like this, there is really no time for them to just kind of throw games away because these count for something. And so, yeah, uh, you know, hopefully they Jat can straighten them out. Hopefully, I don't know if he's like really like saying giving them a lot of leeway in their their draft picks or what, but. Uh, they need to fix something there. Uh, I, I will say, in terms of drafting, I am actually pretty happy that almost every team is banning Udir and Seraphine. Yeah. Like, Udir and Seraphine are just not available, or they're being picked, no matter mm -hmm. what, it yeah. just seems like. Which is good, because those two champions are easily the most broken champions on 11.3. On I don't yeah. think there's anybody who can doubt that. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. I think... Uh, we've talked about that before, right? As far as like the the meta and the picks, and 
to see those champs banned uh, all the time was like like thank goodness like I mean that that would almost be like a, a defeating yourself by not doing it so um, I want to move on to really um, well first I, I want to go to EG real quick just because um, you know we talked about them a little bit um, you know last week they went and week one they were two and one this week they're one and two um, to me their games really feel coin flippy like we talked about it I think you, you said it um, Mitchell that they're you know talented bunch of individuals but they just have no team play and no synergy and that's still kind of what it looks like and honestly like they beat EG I mean excuse me they beat Cloud9 and won it in the first day and then they lose to Immortals the next day and then lose to Dignitas on the third day like what is happening here so I, I don't know man yeah <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Jazuke obviously didn't play well, but I mean, they, they've, that's what's confusing to me is that they show uh, these signs of like being great. And then what, the what do you, uh, so I'm just going to say this EG got Senna Tom Kench and that's why they beat Cloud, or that's how they beat Cloud9 with that. Yeah. Like, what do you think about Senna Tom Kench, Alistair? I don't know. Do you have any opinions on that? Good, bad? I think in organized play, it's really good. I mean, yeah. I, I personally am of the mindset that fasting Senna is just the best way to play Senna in organized environment. I think solo key is different. But I think if you're playing on a team with five people who know how to play together, Senna's, fasting Senna is better because it will give you more gold and help you scale faster. Mm -hmm. um, because the range is the best range is the best scaling stat in the game. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I know we don't really talk about LEC much, but if anyone watched uh, Reckless play Senna he had like 200 <laughs> stacks yeah it was <laughs> absurd mm -hmm. um is a game breaking champion and she's one of the champions that should never be good because this is what happens she's I, too dominant yeah. in the early game for a champion that's supposed to have a really good late game she doesn't have a mid game dip i i completely agree it's also her itemization right like her itemization right now makes it so, so she, like she doesn't yeah she doesn't also have like a weak area right mm -hmm. she doesn't have a weakness she has like really good harass and sustain early in the game a lot of safety because of tom kench um uh, they're really hard to gank and then in the mid game right she gets this crazy power spike in kraken and then she scales into infinity so she doesn't have a weak spot as alistair said and i agree i don't think she should ever be this good she's yeah. like yumi she's maybe worse oh. than yumi because when Yumi is good, she is literally just too easy to play and too good when she's played correctly. Yeah. Like another champion, Udir, Seraphine. Udir. They're champions yeah, that good should point. not be good because of the way they're designed. If they are good, it means they have no counterplay. Mm -hmm. Right? What's the counterplay of Udir? You run away from him. Oh, too bad he has chem tank, ghost, and phase rush. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and bear stance and is passive. What do you do? You die. Yeah, you die. There's chan there are champions in this game that should just never get buffs because if they get buffed, they're game breaking. Yeah, I agree. I um yeah, I hundred percent agree. I think another champion, funny enough, like that, is Seraphine. Yeah. You know? Yep. She's another one of those champions that her ultimate is so game breaking that if she's good and her stats are like good and the rest of her abilities are good, yeah. she will always be relevant because her ultimate is way too game-breaking. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of these champions. Yeah, it's like uh, you have to yeah. like nerf the crap out of her just so she'll be tameable, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'll, it's almost I'll like the Rise effect. Example. It's almost like a Rise effect, you know? Like they, Rise they of Kali Aurelia. Yeah, they yep. become so good in pro, but in, in solo queue, they're going to be kind of poop because they just do one thing that's really good, and in pro, coordinated team play it's really effective but when you got five just solo queue players it's not going to be as great so i agree i mean imagine if sona had a good early game yeah, yeah she'd be broken. just th think of it that way yeah so sona mean, can't get yeah. buffs because if she's good early game it's she's there's no counter to her <laughs> yeah that's true yep, yep. Okay. well going back to eg i think um <laughs> They won that game against C9, and it was really good. And I really felt like, though, it was a lot to do with the Senna TK just being impossible to deal with. Mm -hmm. Like, Vulcan went 0-8, and, you know, he's got Blitz the counter pick, right? But, like, yeah. 
I'm gonna if say you can't I don't, the hooks. real quickly. I don't. You know, I know Blitz is supposed to be like this counter pick to Tom Kench because his alt break shields or whatever. Uh, and you can it, pull them and separate yeah, them. Yeah, you stuff. can pull them yeah. and separate. But still, like I, the few times that I've seen it, I, I haven't seen it work well. Um, I honestly just don't don't want to see it anymore. Like I don't think it's a. Uh, I honestly don't think it's a good good quote unquote counter to him but anyways go ahead you can continue because i just well, I, I just wanted to make a note about that i, I disagree I, with you on that one do you okay okay why do you disagree i i disagree because i i think it got a bad showing because the thing with blitzcrank is he's very volatile he's either working really well look at core jj last season playing it or, or look tournament. at vulcan yeah. playing it this weekend he's a very hit or miss champion and if someone's having a good day where they're dodging every hook, well, you're not a champion really anymore, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's. I hundred percent agree. I, yeah. I I think it's a good counter, but you have to be able to use the counter, and that's what like that people always get dragged into. Oh, this is a bad matchup. Well, do they know to abuse the factor that makes it a bad matchup? And if that's not the case, it's not a counter. Right? Yeah. I, I will say that in the four times it's been played so far, this split, it's lost three. Um, so that, I mean, they picked it all, uh, three times against Tom Kench, one time against Thresh. Um, and so two of the times against, uh, Tom Kench, it's loss and one time it's one. So, I mean, whatever the case, I, it may be a poor showing, but that's what I, that's definitely what I've been seeing. I've been seeing them not be able to execute it. I know in theory and maybe other, uh, leagues have shown that it works well. I just haven't seen it. So I, I will also Frank say. Yeah, Blitzcrank is really hard, and like it is a counter to Santa Tom Kench, but Santa Tom Kench is so broken that it's not like, yeah, it's not good enough. Like yeah. there are like technically like a counter to to Udir is like Kindred, right? You can kite him, jump over walls and stuff, but Kindred is not nearly as strong as a champion that you don't want to pick Kindred into Udir. He's gonna outpace you. He's gonna yeah. build chem tank before you get your mythic, and you're gonna lose anyways. Yeah, so, seriously. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So. All right. I'm See, here's the thing, right? right? They're playing on zero ping, and these yeah. are people who are who are the best, or supposedly the best of the best, right? They can dodge blitzcrank hooks fairly consistently, and that it's a skill shot. It's called skill shot for a reason. Yeah. Right. They need to be skilled. That's they why they need to be play. better. Exactly. If you, you, you just <laughs> you have, have to be to better. You have to dodge. Yeah. You have okay. to be better as the Blitzcrank to beat the Tom. Like just because it didn't work out, it just means he wasn't better on the day. I think. Yeah. I think it's that's, still that's the. Say. Yeah, it's the only real counter, in my opinion, still. Um, since it didn't work out, though, and C9 did give send a TK over, yeah. they, I mean, they took over the game, right? Like, fault, yeah. You can't lane against it, you can't dive against it, and you can't split push against the entire team because yeah. you, you have TK and Senna and Globals and stuff. So, um, yeah, just draft diff, right? I would have liked to see them not time. ban Renekton and not give over Senna. Yeah. Um, and I think I did see. I think the Blitz do, did work better than the Maokai. I think there was a game where there was uh, Senna Tom Kench against like a Maokai something, and they mm. totally dumpstered that lane as well. Uh, they didn't even have any kind of chance to have any counterplay, and or essentially they dominated. I can't remember what game it was, but I just remember the laning phase being so one sided because the Maokai literally couldn't do anything. But uh, I want to move on because uh, we do have. 100 Thieves and Cloud9 at the top. 100 Thieves still look good to me. They they had a pretty decent schedule, too. I mean, they had to play FlyQuest, C9, and Team Liquid. Yeah. So, and they yeah. won. They only lost to C9, but beating FlyQuest, who I think is still a decent team, even though they're not, their record doesn't really show it, and then beating Team Liquid, 100 Thieves looks great to me. Um, again, Team Liquid kind of... Oopsie that one by giving T Demonte TF uh, and there's a bunch of other things, but and giving hey, over Olaf. Yeah, oh my God, I mean, look, man. they're they're winning their games no matter how you slice and dice it. I mean, they, they look good to me. I, I'm gonna give them the credit Wait. they deserve. But sorry, Olaf is nerfed on this patch. Just kidding. Olaf yeah, is nerfed oh, on this patch. Eleven three. He yeah, is. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My he's bad. Still really good though. He's still he's really still good, but yeah. he's like not S tier. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's not, but I mean, what else are you going to pick, right? If, if, t there's Talia, there's Udir. Uh, so Graves, Lilia, I guess. Lilia. Lilia, Lilia yeah. is high, high priority. Yeah. Um, I think you can also... I think well, Olaf's fourth. I'm going to give the uh, the tech right now, sure. folks. Yeah, hey, you come on, man. You can't spoil it. Yeah, Skarner <laughs> is going to see play. It has a not only a really high win rate right now in solo queue, it fills a very similar purpose to Udir. 
Uh, mm-hmm. And it's getting nerfed next patch. Why is it getting nerfed? Because it's broken. All right. It's if you're not broken. playing Skarner, it's you're messing out. It's really broken. Um, I'm playing in a plat league right now. I get Skarner bans, and if I get Skarner, I actually have a hundred percent win rate on Skarner. So, yeah. just saying, you know, uh, supports, we'll catch us on League of Lotus. All right. <laughs> I have two supports. Okay, my mid laner is no longer playing Oriana. He's playing carries, and I play Skarner still. But yeah, I do have two support. We literally play Seraphine Karma in the bot lane, by the way. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm unkillable. It's uh, gosh, that sounds... It's hilarious. Uh, it's fun for me. It sounds awful yeah. to play against. Oh my we win. We actually dumpster games when we get that combo, too. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think we're going to see some Skarner. It's going to be that like third, fourth jungler after uh, you know Udyr and uh, Talia and uh, Lilia. Well, what do you guys think like of the Hecarim? That. Because we've seen Hecarim Oh, Hecarim's a good, too. Times. Broken champ. Yeah, yeah so Broken I, I, champ. Think, I think we'll see Hecarim. Yeah, Hecarim is probably, in my opinion, honestly, like, second to uh, Udyr, but people like the Talia more and the Lilia more, but that's just my opinion. Well, I feel like Talia Hec- definitely Hecarim needs has... More of a team. Yeah, Hecarim yeah. needs a team, but also I think Talia kind of wants a top laner as well with some hard CC. So yeah, yeah. Talia needs very like much more specific circumstances. I think Udyr and Hecarim, you can fit in almost, yeah, almost any anything. team comp. Um, we're seeing a lot of Hecarim too. We saw Spika play it and have some really great flanks with the Shen and the and the uh, Pantheon. So yep. um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot say, of broken junglers right now. I, I do want to ask you, Mitchell, yeah. Mundo. Mundo. Mundo is... Mundo? He got pretty significant buffs. He's okay. I think um, if you're against like an Udyr or Skarner, you're like or Hecarim, you're not as good. Your early game is weaker. You take longer to scale. If those are all off the table and the enemy team doesn't have a comp to deal with you, yeah, you're broken. If you have Udyr or if you have Mundo with a bunch of enchanters, yeah, you're really really good. Um, I personally don't like it because I uh, I want early game pressure, right? If the enemy team has an early game jungler, you probably get double scuttled, and it feels really bad. Getting double scuttled puts you really, really far behind. You all of your laners aren't don't feel safe, right? Scuttle is not only a ton of XP and gold, but it protects one side of your map. It yeah, so that's why I don't like it. You also lose all your dragons too in the early game, so that's I my mean, thing. I I just mentioned it because it got buffs. It's also good in the Senna. Senna can't kill Mundo. Oh, that's an interesting yeah, thing. Fun. Maybe we'll see. Some... Oh, Dardoch played Mundo, right? Did he? Yes, did he? Week one, yeah, Dardoch. That. Week one, Dardoch. I was gonna mention he got absolutely smacked by two. Yes, he did. <laughs> he absolutely out him. But like that's yeah. the extreme scenario, right? If you leave Udyr up and you're tricking Mundo, what are you doing? Yeah, uh, you it can't could do be that. viable, it, and it, I think it's just more of a save it to second round, see what's up, see what they picked, and you could pick Mundo, um, especially yeah. with the buffs. Because week one it was not buffed. Week one was eleven two. Mm. After the buffs, and then you know with a bit more intelligent drafting, I think it could be good. I, I think I the second round. Into it though. Yeah, the second round is important because you absorb jungle bands and then you pick the Mundo, right? It's like, it's like your f- sixth or seventh jungle pick. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Totally. All agree. right. Well, All right. We got C9 as well. Hundred thieves. Uh, C9 is looking better. I mean, I think. Uh... That game was so bad. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. C9 vs. 100 Thieves was the biggest clown fiesta I've ever seen in my life. I loved it. I love the clown fiesta. <laughs> because it's, I feel like it's just a true representation of NA at its finest. It was so NA, dude. It dude, was it's so awesome. NA. But I mean, um, okay, other than that, though, they it's pretty typical. I mean, again, this is this is what I feel like happens in NA. Like, you know, the, the they're obviously good. It's like not... It throws our predictions off a little bit, but the Cloud9 is still good. I, I see them on the up and up. Fudge is still re- – he's getting better. He's playing with the team well. Um, Spika is still playing amazing. Uh, you know, Perks is obviously starting to synergize better and better. I still – we still haven't seen, like, pop-off Perks. Um, but yeah. is that even possible right now in the mid lane? Because mm, that, that's what I'm is... wondering. Like, I don't really see any mid laner anyways popping off. Um, except yes. Poe in that one Azir game, but he had like a quadra kill in the bot lane, and that kind of did it. But you know what I mean? Like I don't really see mid laners in that capacity. I um, at least agree right now. with you, League Dad. I think mid lane is uh, a really weak role right now, and it's heading towards an even weaker role. Uh, it'll get better in eleven four yeah. when junglers Jungle. get nerfed, but eleven yeah. three right now, I think mid lane is one of the weakest roles in the game. Um, obviously, it can still carry. You get a lot of gold and XP, and you can play high damage carries and stuff, but 
I don't know. It's just people are too tanky for you to kill as most mages, right? Verdant Barrier is such a good item that yeah. both mid laners can't kill each other. Um, it's in a point in the map where, like, it's in the middle. And it used to be where that was the most important lane because it roamed to side lanes, right? Yeah. But now you roam to top lane so top lane can carry instead of you roaming to top lane to get the kill so you can carry. Like, the... Like, the actions are still the same, but the result is different, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. You roam well, I mean, the, with the your jungler. The nuance is still there, though. It's still yeah. an impo a very important role. It's just it itself cannot carry. Like, yes. if, if you have a very good mid laner, like a Chovy or whatever, Faker, like, they're still winning games, and they're, they're influencing the game a lot. They just, they themselves don't have the god stats, the DPS or whatever. Typically, mm -hmm. unless it's like an Orianna who's popped off or something, or Azir. Yeah. So, like, I, it's still I important. Agree. It's just that they're not the superstar. They're the, like, the really good assister. Is yes. like uh, the point guard or whatever it's called in basketball. <laughs> yeah, the point there guard. There it is. Setting it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Giving you giving you that layup or whatever. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, yeah, good job. Good, in. Hey. Hit, hitting it with the basketball. Ring. Good job. Uh, I, watch, I only watch a bit of collegiate usually. Of so. I'm, I'm so old. I'm the only one that actually enjoys basketball here. Come on. Dude, Come on, I play video games rugby. all day. There man. you go. Hey, man, that's all right. Uh, okay, I think another big surprise Sports. besides besides TSM <laughs> surprising us. What y'all think of Dignitas, y'all? I mean, I think. Oh my! What God. the hell, man? What? <laughs> what? Oh what? what the heck happened this weekend, I don't bro? No, man, it's just all sorts of crazy. But look, man, they they got a couple. <laughs> with, I don't know if this is like indicative of anything because these were definitely some kind of like just surprises where I'm like, okay, because they. They okay. went 3-0, man! To be fair, they played EG, which is supposed to be a good team, and then two weak teams, right? Okay. So they're yes. like the bottom of the barrel team saying we're separating ourselves to be try and not be bottom of the barrel. Um, but still, like, what the actual heck, man? How did they beat EG? They yeah. looked like EG had such a massive early game advantage, it felt like, in that game. Yeah. And then and then they just threw. Guys, can we can we talk about Jazuke? Oof. Is he okay, man? No, that guy. Is Jazuke was... okay? Where's he going? He <sighs> died under turret twice. It's like I don't he know forgot. What he's doing, man. Oh Turks my do. God. <laughs> he looks so funny. Yeah, I, I didn't watch this game, but I saw that on a clip somewhere. I think on I, I saw both of the deaths back to back. Oh mm -hmm. God. Yeah. I've I mean, never I seen Blue King that... win from behind in pro. Like, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've barely right. seen Blue King Blue win King, from yeah, playing exactly. general. They, they, like, they how, picked five range. They picked five range. What? Dardock is literally, I think he, he, someone must have paid him off so that he had to play a different character every time in in jungle. Because I've never seen a man play 10 different junglers yeah. in 10 different games. I don't think that's <laughs> ever been done. I think that usually yeah. it's like 7 was the record or something like that. Back in like season 7 or 8. But Maybe they'll just be the crazy. team where they throw people up for a wrench. Because they never who know who Dardock's going to pick, man. Just I don't think Dardock's teammates know who he's going to pick. Why do he pick? <laughs> I mean, it worked really well because like, you know, 80 carry mid. But yeah. like... Yeah. They were down early because I don't think Kane has the tempo for that. Like, yeah. when you have Lucian mid, you don't expect Lucian mid to get absolutely smashed by yeah. Saligo. Jazuki's, yeah. like, th it worked out. I agree. I'm just so confused. Um, it was really exciting, though. Um, I think that Dignitas is, I still think they're on the more the faker side of the thing. Oh, I'm sorry. They're the pretender faker. side of things. <laughs> pretender. Yeah, they're not on the faker side. Not of the things. faker <laughs> side of things. The pretender yeah. side of things. Yeah. You know, that uh, could be a segment. Faker or pretender? Uh, Faker yeah. or pretender? He, he, another way of saying that is, do they suck or do they not suck? Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. I mean... Yeah. Pretty much. Me, <laughs> they, <laughs> I mean, it's a nicer way of saying it. A more yeah. catchy yep. way. I mean, to me, they're like... I'm just going to go and say it. They're like a, like a worst TSM, right? They're going to look really good this weekend. And then next weekend, they're going to go 0-3. Yeah. yeah. Um, so... I'm not convinced. I just think it's funny. It's like such a meme. Like I, I feel like EG, like I don't remember when the Kane was picked. Was it picked early? Do you guys remember? Yeah. Uh, so Kane was picked second. Second, right? I. Or sorry, for first round second pick, like. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. First yeah, half, yeah. they just picked one, two. It was the second they picked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right. I remember that. I was thinking in that draft, like, EG was like, oh, they picked Kane. We're going to pick five range. We're going to force him off of red Kane. He's going to have to play blue Kane. It's so big brain. And then they're like, wait, guys, our comp sucks. Wait, <laughs> we put we put Jazuke and Lucian, guys. Yeah. I think we messed up. I, uh, he built Gale Force. What is he dodging? Next? 
Skill force, baby. <laughs> He's Scale dodging the turret shots. But you get no, you get zero utility out of it. Buy a shield bow, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, shield he's trying to dodge the turret shots, right, guys? Right? He's trying Apparently. to dodge those, oh those turret shots under the dive. <laughs> that was so oh. funny stuff, man. I mean, it Dude, literally his... looked like me playing. Like, I, that's <laughs> not good. <laughs> not, not good if you're on a pro team. Dude, I mean, I think... he looked like my Disco Nunu in my games. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> Dad, I think he just kind of looks like you, period. Yeah. But that's there just me. Go. Hey, I, Italian I League Dad. Italian League Dad is not real. Hey, look, if you pay me that, if, if you pay me that kind of money, I'll play on. Shoot, I'll play on their team. I can do it. Hey, I'll look. I'll, I'll lose to it. Dignitas too, yeah, man. No problem. <laughs> Give me Lucian. See what happens. <laughs> I'll show you some real intake, Okay. Uh, hey, but look. Uh, uh, let's move on. Uh, okay. First, in some news, the Broxa has got his visa. He should be coming in. I don't know how soon he's coming in, but. Look, I am a believer that CLG is better than their record shows. I think One that game. I think they could be you know in a couple of weeks. I think they could be fifth or sixth place team. Honestly, that, that's where I'm thinking them. I think Golden Guardians is the worst team. I think Immortals is still down there. I don't believe in Dignitas, so put all those teams down there. I think they could be a fifth or sixth place team. I think CLG is at the top. That's of the a hot team. take. It's not really, uh, not really. It's, I, we're I talking about the lower like, tier here. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of the bottom tier teams are good enough to take games off of, like you know, hundred thieves, TL, clown. I think they're good enough to do that, and, and we saw that. I mean, Dignitas had an uh, easier schedule, but I like they still beat EG, which is supposed to be you know a top tier esque team. Yeah. Um, so I think we're going to see a lot of these random ones, and I especially said that from Golden Guardians, right? To be fair, we all saw how Niles played in their game against... Was it... Who was it? Who was it? He played Nar. Oh, was it against TSM? I just remember I, I just remember Mitchell saying he's the new It was against movie. TSM, and he got caught <laughs> that was four me. times. I said oh, that. that was you? <laughs> that was me. That. Yeah. He, he yeah. solo lost them the game by dying in the same place four times in a row. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Collegiate player a guys. Really huge lead. They oh. had soul point ready, and they just couldn't secure soul, get their stuff together, or not get caught. It was top some of the dead. most always. Pain... It was some of the most painful side laning I've watched in a while. Like he's actually not terrible in lane, and he can pop off, but he's definitely solo queue. This yeah. guy is like what I thought revenge would be like, but revenge is it... a lot more composed <laughs> comparatively. Yeah. Yeah. They got to soul point that game, right? Is what you're talking about. Yes, they were, at three, yeah. they were at three dragons for the longest time. It was excruciating to watch. For for all you viewers out there, there's a team that's in my org um, that <laughs> they do a lot of the same things. They're they're kind of like a gold team era, and they they do this thing a lot. They have a really good early game. They get to soul point, and then they go and take the objective, and then they don't have smite. They lose the objective. They all die, and then they lose the game. Um, You're not so talking yeah, about your team, uh, are you? I'm not talking. No, I'm not talking about my team. No, we don't do that. <laughs> I'm talking about another team. Oh, okay. We'll see if they view. Uh, no for all names. you excellency viewers, one of them is a caster. Um, I'm sure you guys okay. will figure it out. Right. <laughs> but anyways, hey, tweet us if you know who it is. <laughs> yeah. You know who it is. I wonder, Mitchell. I wonder. Oh my god. I gosh. wonder. Yes. Um. Anyways, uh, talking about the lower teams, I do agree. CLG could come up above. They're looking. Um. Yes, uh, they're looking a bit better. Maybe they got a win. Maybe they won't. Like, because I think CLG has this thing where like they spiral out of control, right? <laughs> like, they like they start losing some games and they just like like zero eighteen. Oh shoot! Like <laughs> we shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, nah, man, it's because they had Poe Belter. That's why he's all he had attitude oh, problems. True, See true. See, true, 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 true. When Paul Velter was 1v9ing last year. Yeah. So I think if they get Broxa, like, they don't have Wiggly. I do think Wiggly is a part of that spiral, right? Yeah. Wiggly must have some terrible mental. That guy's bad. I so agree. put Broxa in there. Maybe they can make playoffs, yeah. right? Um, I have hope. Yeah. They beat Golden Guardians. Yay. <laughs> I'm a believer. Man. I'm a believer. I mean, they they got one edge out. They have to edge out 8th, I believe, for playoffs with the new system, assuming it's kept from last season. So... I do not I, I know. Mean, it's doable. We should find but out. But it's kind of—it is a little late, right? They're already one in five. It's going to be tough. But all you need is one good week. If you go two, one, three, that's oh, right. Then you're like, already in the standings. 
we already see like just from first week to second week like three games makes a big difference uh it's still yeah, early it's to keep jockeying yeah. for positions so um okay i think it's time for us to go to predictions because uh, predictions we got some I'm stuff ready. y'all were, y'all y'all ready for what what the results were for last week because they weren't pretty <laughs> no uh, I, so no, I, the I don't want to know we all CSM lost, to the lost. Coin, didn't we? nope only CSM lost. all of you guys lost to the coin except for myself that's oh right. my really? god that's right because all y'all doubted tsm I doubted, TSM sucks. I doubted tsm the least and therefore I, I paid off big all right alistair you got a total of three correct <laughs> <laughs> hey i got my eg over c9 though I'll take you that. did you did kevin you got a grand total How? of five correct <laughs> let's go yeah. mitchell you did slightly Hell better yeah. you did slightly 66%. better you had six you had hey, six right let's Oh, oh, the please. coin had eight right. Oh my god. Let me just say, god. they got EG prediction right. They got the TSM <laughs> over GG uh, right. All TSM. Coin they got the TSM. TSM over Team Liquid right. They oh got the my Immortals god. over EG right. And they got the 100 Thieves over Team Liquid right. So all of these crazy picks, they got eight. And yours truly, the League Dad, got nine correct. That is right. What? TSM wow. number one, baby. What? That's right. When has ever when has League Dad ever won? <laughs> it's I the feel like he's never won a prediction. The beginning in his life. of a new era. That's right. This is oh man, I'm getting a ton of ground now. Y'all don't even know. I think oh I, this may God. have shot me up in a first past you, Mitchell. I'm excited. Maybe. I'm I ready. Doubt it. Wow. I'm ready to go. All right. I, know, I think I'm winning after this week. <laughs> you got three. <laughs> okay, Ant. I mean, we like golf li- rules, aren't we? I got well, yeah, golf rules. Yeah, that's True. right. True. Go- golf rules. Yes, that's that's what it is. Okay, Friday, CLG C nine. Dude, C nine, get no! me out, dude. Come on, man. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, everything is I don't crazy. Care. Remember, <laughs> Broxa shows is... up. It's still not enough. <laughs> no, it's not going to I be. Agree. I don't care. I don't okay. care. So, Broxa is also. Do you guys remember Broxa Spring 2020? He came in like four weeks late, uh, kind of similar to what's happening now, and they were straight garbage. Yes. He was yep, straight garbage. Again. For the entire year, he was just on the wrong foot for all of 2020. I do not believe he will do anything. He will I be marginally better. better. Yeah, better than Wiggly, though, right? That's doing, doing that nothing, be enough to, okay. That's enough to win that TSM <laughs> game. That TSM game was enough. To be mean. But doing better than Wiggly is equivalent to, to doing, doing almost nothing. nothing. It's oh, he's Malphite. Oh. He literally does nothing. He literally does nothing. Oh, I don't care. Oh man, poor Sorry. Wiggly. There's some irony in that in that meme, but okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I do agree it won't be enough. Wiggly. Okay. Wiggly. I mean, is anybody going CLG here or no? No, coins also. Crying. CLG fans aren't going. Oh, CLG. even the coins not. It's Dang. a rip. Dang. It's a, okay. Okay. Next. Dignitas question. FlyQuest. Ooh. You know, this actually, see, this is what the problem is. Because, like, is Dignitas for real or was that just a fluke? Because FlyQuest isn't doing that great either, even though I think they're a good team on paper. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Uh, they both suck. I don't know. <laughs> they, they really do. I mean, they're both, like, fine, actually. I don't think they suck. They're both middle of the pack LCS teams, right? We all agree on that. Um, yeah. Not the worst, definitely not even close to the best. Um, I'm a good uh, FlyQuest. Dignitas just went 3 0. FlyQuest, what was their record? Let me check. check 1 check, 2, check, I check, believe. 1 2, 1 2. Yeah, That's two, less four. than 3, right? Let me check. Yes, sir. One yes, sir. Win is less than That's yeah, 2 okay. 4. Yep. Yep. I'm going Fly. I'm going Dignitas. Screw right. you, League Dad. I'm winning this prediction this year. All right, this is where you fall even further behind, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in Jose Diodo. I do, out. too. I'm I don't believe in the rest in of his ba- team, though. Yeah, I know. That's... Even <laughs> Licorice hasn't looked good. Yikes. No, he hasn't. I do believe in Dignitas' bot lane, by the way. And and Dark, Neo was the fir- number one uh, performing uh, fantasy player. Yeah, Neo yeah. was popping off. Neo and Aphromu were really, really good. I was Do surprised. I need to make some changes on my roster, my fantasy. Uh, I roster. think we all need to make changes. On our <laughs> <roster>. <laughs> nah, you're winning. What are you really talking about? I don't. You're week. winning right now, Mitchell. I am winning. I know. I just got lucky, um, man. RNG. <laughs> coin okay. is dig. All right. Coin is what are you I doing? Coin? Coin? I don't know. Yeah. yeah what are you what guys are you? doing? Alistair and Kevin are always the last ones 
I think I'm almost yeah. always the first one. Usually, Lies. it's just recently we switched it up. Lies. What do you mean? Go back, check the vods. <laughs> check uh, the vods. Well, he said, anyways, check the vods. I'll go now. I am gonna go for Dignitas. Um, hey. Jungle still important this week. Uh, when eleven four goes around, then it might change. But I think Dardock is really good, and their bot lane being more stable currently is a good sign because the, they figured out to ban Johnson on Senna, and it's like it's so much. Hard. Their win cons seem to have fly in, fallen out the window. Yes, Johnson, no yeah. Senna, no Seraphine, can't abuse, Diamond sucks. Oh, sorry, Seraphine is actually what yeah, I meant yeah. to say, not Senna, but yes. Well, both. Both are yeah. equally annoying. Yes, both are broken. All right, yeah. Alistair. Hit us with that Dignitas prediction. Yeah, I'm going to go Dignitas. Hey, I called it. I guess this is because where I separate myself. Even though I think Jose Diodo is one of the best junglers in the league. I agree. Uh, I 100% I think that. I just feel like... The fact that Licorice is running it, playing possibly the well, definitely the mo the best lane in the game. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't know. I just don't. I I just think Dignitas are gonna win. Okay. I agree. So I'm the only FlyQuest hopeful. All right. I see they're my Licorice team now. Is washed. <laughs> yeah, I know what happened. I I, I dumped them. Okay. As soon as they started just running it and like playing. Terribly, I was just like, wait a second, guys. This is their I don't have a team yet, man. This is their week, yeah. telling you. Okay. I, I don't either. I, it's okay, man. We can be team. We can be orphans together, bro. That's there fine. There you go. <laughs> afraid of commitment, my man. Don't be afraid. I am very afraid of don't commitment. Afraid. Yes. Uh, I, yes. Golden Guardians and Team Liquid. You guys would have to be. Y'all were high on Golden Guardians last week. I don't know. What yeah, I'm done. No, I'm over it. I'm so over <laughs> it, man. I'm heck? so over it. Like. I was like, I had some hope because they had some promising games and they had a really nice lock-in and then they just like were miserable to watch this weekend. So I'm off Golden Guardians. It's Team Liquid. I'm not even going to like, I don't care. Team Liquid just went 1-2. Yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to go through phases with Golden Guardians. I'm saying it right now. We're going to say this and then a couple weeks down, they're going to go 3-0 somehow and they're going to beat like 100 <laughs> Thieves. And I'm going to say, wait, is Ding Toss <laughs> actually good? Golden Guardian's actually something, good. Something budget TSM. Like, yeah, it, it's going to be the same thing. True. Okay. NA. It's going to be liquid winning. I'm, the I more am... pressure they have to pick just re things that will win, the more likely they are just to completely smash teams that there's a skill diff on. Yeah. Um, it's already been two weeks. I don't think they're going to keep picking Kennen unless it's like actually a. They would be like, a will so dumb. Them. To pick Kenan there are certain cops Kenan works on. It's just when we've been picking it, it's awful as a pick. Uh, not awful, it's just so risky. It can it yeah. can pop up, but it's not worth the risk. It's not like you need it. Well, it yeah. doesn't fit so. into the comps they're picking. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. You don't need it on that comp. Like, he's just picking because he thinks he's so good. And he is good in lane. Like, he wins lanes that a lot of Kenan, NA Kennens never pull off. The problem <laughs> is the coordination's bad. Yeah, I fit. do think Kenan is actually pretty good into Senna Tom Kench. I agree. Uh, yeah. Kennen is pretty nice because he can lock them both down. If he gets a good ulti, he can actually CC Tom Kent before he can save the Senna. And if that happens, of course the Senna dies. If you know Tom Kench is able to like save the Senna, you know they're both trapped in the Kennen ulti for a while. Um, so yeah. I think that's where we might be able to see Kennen. But I think Senna TK is just too broken, and Kennen isn't broken enough. Like he needs to get ahead in lane. So. I do see why we would see a Kennen, but I don't know why he picked Kennen in that game, right? It just seemed random. Like, you're not going to get onto it, a, a, a Kaisa or a Nazir. It's so <laughs> yeah. hard to lock him down. Um, so, yeah. So, anyone not anyone not going Team Liquid? That's No, no. No, no Coins no. also no, A lot of talk for an easy prediction. Exactly. Well, yeah, it's just because <laughs> Team Liquid lost two games, and one of them was to TSM. Imagine losing to TSM. Omega oh, lol. I know, I didn't oh even predict God. that. I'm sorry, like, as a TSM <laughs> you fan, didn't? I repent of my sin because I should have never I can't wait to watch them go on 3 this weekend. Oh, no, it's <laughs> not Please. happening. Uh, my faith, I, it, I, my I faith has been restored, y'all. EG 100 Thieves Dignitas. That's not an That's, easy schedule. Wait. I'm please, going to TSM go. for all of the games, baby. Oh, God. All right, oh, the next one is it. TSM right. versus EG. I'm, I'm putting TSM. I will clip this. Oh, oh my God. If they go 0-3... If, okay, League Dead, make me a deal right now. All right. If TSM goes 0-3 this weekend, I, for the next podcast, I want you to take a marker and write TSM sucks on your forehead. <laughs> okay, okay. 
But if they don't go one and three, well, you gotta write something on your head. If they go three and zero, oh. <laughs> if they go okay, yeah. If they go, if, if they go three, three and zero, oh, I'll write hashtag TSM win on my forehead for the next okay. podcast. Yes, all right. Yes, uh-huh. yes. Uh-huh. yes. Uh-huh. But that but this is the only, gauntlet has so been this thrown. Is only for three and zero oh and zero oh and three, right? So if, yeah. if it's in the middle, correct. Then, okay, I'll, I'll take that bet. I'm not afraid. Trust, <laughs> You're afraid. I can't. trust in my team. You're I so afraid. In my team. Okay. You're Don't so make me get the screenshot out. I'm all right. I can't wait till you have a hashtag TSM win on your face. That's oh be my god! I don't know which one I want more now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so the only answer is that both of you and I are winners in this deal. True. <laughs> true. <laughs> so true, Kevin. <laughs> we yeah, win. That is true. All right. Well, we're, besides we're me, because like, y'all know who I'm voting for. Popcorn. TSM or EG? I'm going last. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm going EG. Uh, I, I, they're volatile, but I don't think TSM has proven themselves yet. Are you kidding me? Did you watch last week? Oh my. I, I did. I did. They, it was a close game with Liquid ahead until they got a quadra kill bot. Like any game you get a quadra kill bot on a zero, you're going to smash and you're going to look great in. That doesn't mean that much. Huni almost got a cut out so many times and literally it's 4 0 Azir swooping down in a TP to save everyone with god tier like plays. Like, that was a stomp, but like there are if you, if that bot play doesn't happen, the game is not going to look like even remotely like that. Which is an obvious statement to be fair, but yes, it, okay. it's like yes after the fact. But that looked amazing. But that was sketchy at the beginning. Liquid was looking quite good. Okay, okay, okay. I can see okay. it. I can see it. Go, Alistair. I don't want to predict yet. Yeah. Um, y'all are just gonna pick EG to spite me, but y'all are about to be wrong. True. I mean, I have to pick EG. Okay. Yeah. yeah I don't have, have a choice. Technically, yeah, you do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, you do actually have to pick. EG. Actually, you don't. You could, you could hedge your bets. You could go for the bet. Oh three, but then predict against it. So at least if you lose, you get, yeah, you get something. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a little bit okay, of. I, I don't. I don't care about the prediction points. I. I'm. I'm a man of my word. I said I said TSM's gonna go 03. I'm gonna vote 03. Okay. All right. Okay. So can we make this another is thing time, that this is the first time need, I heard you didn't care about the prediction points after you went. I, I have said it 15. all the time. We need okay. we need stakes on the prediction points. Then. We do. All right. Should we put? Should we discuss this right now so we make Alistair care? Yeah. So <laughs> basically, care. there should be a, a last place and a first place, like yes. a prize and a punishment. Like if you're I last agree. place, I don't know what it is, but it's got to be something. You have to okay. I don't know. I mean, I know one specific for Alistair. He just has to play Seraphine and so like you five oh people. My God, let's, just no. make, let's just say oh let's just God. make that it. Seraphine yeah. or Yumi. Oh yes. Yes, Seraphine or Yumi. Oh, five yes. games in Wait, solo queue. Not only do you have to do it, you have to stream it. Yes. You yes. It without, yes. You have to stream it without hating on the character. That's, oh that's, my god. That's, and we all get yeah, to be there and we get to spam to Yumi quotes in Twitch chat. You're not allowed to say anything bad about Yumi while you're playing her. <laughs> I would, oh, I'm going to spam oh, all Seraphine to before and making this bet. Oh, God. I, I love how we're already predicting Alistair to be last place. Yes, <laughs> how, I do we, how do we make the coin play Seraphine? <laughs> oh, no, the coin we, doesn't we count. We can choose the other last place reward. Oh, uh, punishments as we get right, How about points. this? How about this? If you guys got an idea, why don't you uh, tweet us or we'll, we'll come up with oh, something. Uh, but there will be, <laughs> there will be a last place reward or last place punishment and a first place reward okay, okay but what, here's okay. the issue right if we're going if you have you have to play st- you have to stream yumi it, it can't be that for league dad because if he gets a last he enjoys yeah yeah well if it looks like league dad's gonna get last we'll custom tailor it, it like, won't yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. whoever it is okay. has to be custom tailored sure, sure. he has to, custom right. he has to yes, buy a clg jersey and wear it oh, oh my god Punishment worse than right. that. I actually don't mind CLG. I'd be more, okay. Fine. I'd be more Golden upset Guardians. buying a. T- no, no, I'd be more upset <laughs> having to buy. I would be more upset having to buy a Team Liquid jersey. Oh, <laughs> you have to wear a Team Liquid jersey and wear it. Yes, for like multiple oh, podcast episodes in a row. About I would that. love. That. Oh, that's a good one. All right, well, I actually like that one. Okay, going back to predictions. Me. I'm impossible. I'm not gonna lose, so it doesn't matter. Right? EG or so. TSM? We got Mitchell and Coin left. All right, I am going TSM, baby. I want to see the hashtag TSM win go. on Alistair's forehead. Yes. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> right. It's too late to change my prediction, Coin, but I really like the sound TSM. of that. TSM. Oh, Coin's TSM. That. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. All, All right, right. TSM. Uh, TSM. 100 Thieves versus Immortals. I'm going 100 Thieves. Yeah, I'm going 100, 100 Thieves. thieves. 
Uh, please, yeah. Hundred Thieves. Can Immortal, we just have don't a win consistent... against every team that's better than you? Please don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know, right? I, I think I think Hundred Thieves is the best team in the league right now. Interesting. Currently. I think. I think it, I think it will change with eleven four, because yeah. I don't think Close will be able to one v nine. Plus, it'll change the mid meta, so I don't think Demonte can just play Twisted Fate Gallia every game. So I I think they'll drop off in eleven four. I think right now, Hundred Thieves is the best team. Right. But they well, lost the, to C9. What did the coin say? Uh, coin is... Uh, immortals. Immortals. Right. The coin is trolling. Alright, C9 versus Dignitas. <laughs> going C9 here. I am going C9 as well. Okay, I think C9. Dignitas showed us a lot, but it's just not enough, right? Like, what? You only have so many junglers. What's your 11th jungler be? Are you going to play jungle... I don't know. Karthus. Callista. We'll yeah, I don't know. He's Karthus. Karthus. They already played Karthus. Right? Gonna pull out. Yeah. Oh, they did already play They already played Karthus, oh, man. True. It's actually really hard to find a 10th one. Play Lee Sin. Twitch, All right, play Lee Twitch Sin. Jungle. AP Twitch, Twitch Jungle. Twitch Jungle, sure. sure. <laughs> All right, Alistair, yeah, are you C9? I, I agree. It's gonna be uh, C9. Yeah, I'm going to go Cloud9. Uh, coin is Dig. Oh, okay. Pog. All right, uh, All right, CL, CLG this week. versus Immortals. This is a tough one. I'm going we have Broxa. Oh. Okay, maybe he already so has, a has a CLG jersey. We know Broxa has a visa. Is he physically here? I don't know no. yet. I think he'll be here for this weekend. But I'm, either way, I'm, I'm CLG. I just, I think they're... Either way. Ooh. Yeah, I think they're I think they're better than what they've shown. Mm, I think I'm going Immortals. Okay. I'm going, I think immortals. I'm going Immortals. I'm going Immortals as well. Yeah. I, if Broxa was here, it's still week one, Broxa. And I'm going to have like, like a nine point... Broxa win over you guys this week i'm telling no you no way dude uh, no way bro yeah. i mean i'm voting TSM. It's, it, it's gonna be a roller coaster so you're never yeah. gonna have a nine point lead i'm gonna have i'm gonna have it all i'm all trying right. to predict when tsm are good and bad okay i'm trying to predict the wave i think they're at their peak and they're gonna stay for a little TSM bit TSM doesn't then... know when they're gonna be good or bad mitchell exactly but i <laughs> i'll predict it guys don't worry i'm a, I'm a good analyst don't don't you guys TSM. worry it's okay mm -hmm. good. <sighs> okay so i think <laughs> I think if Brox is there, CLG wins, in my oh opinion. Oh my god. However, okay. I can't take the... I, I said I won't vote for CLG if Wiggly's That's playing. That's true. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, League Dad, can you put an asterisk on mine? No, and say, no. Yeah. No. You have to put <laughs> We're all... I'm asterisk. saying Brox is there. I finalized my prediction. Right, I said I'm with you, way. Mitchell. I'm Let's go. I'm with you. Right, yeah. Immortals. Immortals. I'm, right. I'm going to bank on the fact that Brox is there. Yep. Wait, so you're, voting... saying Immor you're saying Immortals is, is going to win? Or Even though CLG? Brox is there, Immortals is going to win. Oh, oh sorry. No, what is I your think... prediction? Sorry, if Brox... Okay, I'll say CLG because I'm going to bank on the fact that Brox okay. is there. So you think oh, CLG. okay. Okay, okay. It's like, I was like, logically, I'm not following on the next sentence. <laughs> if Wiggly is Wait. there, Immortals. But yeah. I, can't, I can't do yeah. that, apparently. So yeah. I'm going to say yep. CLG. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay well, I'm right. banking that Brox is there and voting for Mortals, but I see what you meant. Yeah. When you said yep. you were, okay. I agree we're good. with Mitchell. We're good. Yeah. Right. I agree system. with Kevin. Coin is CLG. Right. Coin is CLG. Oh, oh next crap. one should be easy. TSM versus Hundred Thieves. I got TSM. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this one should be thieves. easy. He says. Oh, he says Lord, this one oh, should Lord. be easy. Look at his face. He knows he's memeing. <laughs> coin, <laughs> coin is TSM. I'm Hundred Thieves. <laughs> I'm oh, not, I don't need to give anal, uh, analysis on this. I cannot wait this. till y'all are. Yeah, you already said hundreds yeah. of us to you this patch. I'm going. I don't know, man. You go, Kevin. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I already said it. I said a hundred thieves. I mean, oh, I, 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 I think they're strong. I don't know if they're the best team this patch, but I think they're very strong and they're more more stable than TSM is. I don't I know, also, dude. I also oh, always vote 100 Thieves into this roster, this group of people against TSM. I have, I don't, I'm not concerned. That's true. I don't basically know, basically Golden Guardians last split. And they, they beat him and locked him pretty handily. I was yeah. like, yeah, this is what we expected. That was then. This is now. <laughs> oh, this is two then. Weeks. <laughs> now I'm now. Who are you? We are we. I don't know. TSM. Fire, uh, don't curse, Mitchell. Uh, yeah, TSM. Let's go, <laughs> Lee Dad. Go. TSM. <laughs> You really, go. Want, you really want uh, Line in the Alistair sand. This is going to be the week where the point <laughs> differences really compound. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, okay. I just, I honestly just have no idea. So, 
That's hard, man. Because like TSM By is very unpredictable, and Hundred Thieves is predictable. I I think you kind of know what you're gonna get with Hundred Thieves, and they're very like consistent in what they do. They do a lot of they do a lot of top and bot dives when waves crash, right? Yeah. Uh, and they have a lot of like roaming and stuff. But ride the wave, TSM. Man. I'm going with the wild card factor, and I'm just going to be like, Comes they're going to do the VOD side. reviews, they're going to ban the TF, they're going to listen to the All In podcast and be like, yes, Mitchell, ban TF, uh, make sure that Huni doesn't int and play NAR, you know, yep. and then they're going to win. Let's go. Come to the dark side, my friends. Plenty yes. of space. I, All right, uh, what is the coin set? I, am, I will never is. be a TSM. <laughs> right now, <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, coin said TSM already. Okay. Hey. Uh, TSM versus EG. Team Liquid versus. I mean, EG. Team Liquid. Team Liquid. Oh, team Liquid. Wait, what? Team Liquid versus it's, EG. It's TL versus. Oh, team. Oh, I was Boomer. so confused. I was like, yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I had TSM on the brain. <laughs> oh god. Um, now I don't, I don't want to vote TSM. I, I'm. I'm still not convinced TL's that bad. I think this week's gonna be a wake up call. I hope so. I think so too. I mean, I still think they're more. They're just stronger than EG. I, I'm going Liquid. I'm going Liquid as well. All right. They destroyed them in the lock in tournament. And EG close. does not seem like they've improved. Alistair, you Team need to work on your coin catching skills, man. Oh it's my god, he lost the, the coin. Dark, dang okay. well drop like Turn on turn the light. Turn on the lights, man. You voidling. <laughs> You're actually a little voidling. <laughs> Look, okay. I'll start, you I gotta got change Mordecai's your username to Malzahar. It's not easy, alright? <laughs> Dude, did Nocturne come knock on <laughs> your door or something? <laughs> Darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Did you flip it yet or what? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We wait. All right. Uh, it's tails. That means EG. Oh, oh wow. Okay. 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 Uh, fly quest versus Golden Guardians. I'm going fly. I'm going FlyQuest. Oh, dude, this is going to be the game Golden Guardians wins, isn't it? I'm going FlyQuest anyways, but this is going to be the one. All right, <laughs> Golden Guardians. I'll go I'll FlyQuest. Oh. Uh, I, God, think I don't know. It's the battle of the ending top laners. I think Golden Guardians yeah. is the worst <laughs> team in the league. Yes, we know, League Dad. Thank you for telling us. Hey, I'm just, like, <laughs> just reminding y'all. <laughs> of where I stand. Of where I stand. Not the team. <laughs> uh. Come on, oh, Alistair! Look. Okay, coin went Golden Guardians. I'm gonna go... I'll go FlyQuest. Hey, we're all FlyQuest. Smart move. Okay, we're all scared. Uh, TSM okay. versus Dignitas. Y'all know it's TSM. Don't deny it. Hey. Hashtag TSM win! TSM! Woo! That's right! right. Coin, TSM. A... I'm, I'm obviously going Dignitas, so... Okay, hey, Mitchell, you have a 3-0 week for TSM, just like I me, know. I know, I man. Totally, I want to see I... that marker on Alistair's face. <laughs> I'm kind of a bully like that. TSM as well. Oh, Kevin. Ooh, let's go. Ooh, that's... Kevin, get nice. over here, bro. Come to uh, the yeah, dark yeah, side. Hugs. <laughs> Baylight. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> slowly but surely. Slowly but Baylight. surely. One by yes, one. <laughs> they come over to the dark side. I need to put on a mask during the next... The next broadcast. Oh thing. gosh. Okay, uh Immortals vs. FlyQuest. I got FlyQuest. This is a tough one. Immortals vs. FlyQuest, I think it's pretty cool. Didn't we already do this one? No. No, yes. that was Immortals no. CLG. No. They just they all they just all seem the same. They're all melding uh, in my head, yes. Alright, okay. coins IMT. I uh, I'm go. going I, I'm gonna go IMT as well. I think oh, Immortals I IMT. I think Immortals is the second worst team in my opinion. Wowzers. Maybe League Dad is on to something. Uh, I am going... What did you say, Kevin? Plant, I switched to plant-based diet. I, I so didn't my say brain... anything, but I am going to go <laughs> with... Okay. You're vegan? I'm going with kind the of. Mortals. <laughs> You're going with the Mortals? <laughs> oh my god, we have two for Immortals, and you have you have Fly Quest, right? Yeah, Corn was Immortals. Immortals. It's a three IMT. Dude, I'm going with freaking vegan brain. Let's go, yes. FlyQuest. Let's I'm go. I'm you, man. <laughs> I'm thinking clearly now. The plants, uh, plant honestly, time. but truly, here's my analysis. They're both bad and such coin flip. I actually don't know. So I'm okay. just splitting the vote. I don't know. It's, this one's tough. I actually had to toss a coin to do that in my head. I'm just like, huh. Yeah. Wait, did you, Pick one. did you toss a coin in your head? No, 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 no. Like, I, I was just like, <laughs> like, how does that work? Right, Dude, is this stuck that. in there? 
It, Can you uh, hear it when you shake your head like this? Oh, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> okay. 100, 100, 100 Thieves versus Golden Guardians. I got 100 Thieves. 100 yeah, 100 yeah. Thieves. Yeah, yeah, 100 Thieves. Oh, we have this match next. I know. That's Coin is also 100 Thieves. Right, Puggers. C9 versus Team Liquid. Match of the week for sure. Oh, match, this yeah. is a good one. We need to talk about. Why is why is there an EG versus CLG after this? This I makes know, this the last game this of the should, day. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, literally no one's that's watch the marquee game. matchup. That's why it has to be the last one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, homie? Hey, <laughs> hey um, welcome to the podcast. Surprise, Sorry, yes. he's out. Uh, All right. Uh, so wait, let's predict EG <laughs> versus CLG first. Yeah, let, let's let's do it. Because EG that that okay. yeah, we cannot end CLG. on EG versus CLG. I, I'm, I'm going EG. CLG will lose. <laughs> okay. You always I do that. I know. I, I, know, I know. I have to bait <laughs> the viewers a little bit. It's lost its touch, Mitchell. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. We get new viewers sometimes. Okay. Come up with something okay. new, man. Every week. Uh, EG. All right. EG. EG. Yeah, it's EG. Let's, let's get that out of the way so we can talk about the match that matters. Uh, yeah. Alistair. Uh, I'm EG. Coin is also EG. Okay, so oh. now that that's out of the way, <laughs> yeah. Team Liquid versus C9. But a boom. I'm so, going C9. C9 went 2 1. Team Liquid won 1 2. I would say both had relatively hard competition this weekend. Um, C9, I think, had a slightly easier schedule. Um, I would say it's really, really tough. Um, of course, Alfari Fudge, right? This is our finals lock-in matchup. Alfari should have the edge into Fudge, but it is a best of one, right? So anything could happen. Crazy counter pick. One mistake could change the top lane. Yeah, it's really hard. I'm just kind of like setting the scene for you guys mm -hmm. to explain, and then I will predict later. <laughs> yeah, so I'm predicting Liquid. You saw in Game 5 they figured out. Of course out the you are. They, they know I'm exactly what to do. Every three games they've won. They very easily just camp top. Like the second they're like, let's try something else and not camp top, the game like collapsed. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know you wouldn't camp top. Fudge is Fudge is so weak up there in terms of like that duo is so weak comparatively. If they focus their resources top, it should just be a smash. I don't even think it's a coin flip. Oh, I will also say this that I think I should have mentioned earlier before we did predictions, and I think I should have taken place in my predictions that I forgot about is I think blue side is much, much stronger than red side right now because there are a lot of power picks and there are a lot of bans you are forced to do on red side. You have to ban Udyr. You probably have to ban Seraphine and their other stuff like Renekton, Talia, Senna, Tom Kench. Um, so I didn't take that into account in my predictions, but I think that's like, that's, that's I don't know. We should have thought of that earlier, but it's fine. Too late. Don't worry about it. Too late. Team Liquid is on blue side. I think the matchup is really close. I think Cloud9 is going to be forced to ban... Actually, they're not going to be forced to ban Seraphine because Team Liquid doesn't play Seraphine, it seems like. So they're going to ban Senna. They're going to ban... Oh, but their Senna Tail Kench is also garbage, too. Oh, my God. Never mind. I'm not predicting yet. Someone else go. I'm just going with the Blabber <laughs> effect. You know what? I'm riding the wave. I think Santorin's good. Blabber is on fire right now, and I'm just going to stick with it. That's... We're just going to ignore the fact that he lost his friend Scarin in jungle. Eh. True. Just... All right. Well, not he's... false. But he's... Look, man. Uh, overall, he's had the strongest play, man. He uh, has. He has I, the overall... I, th I just right think now. that... Uh, that's what I'm going with. I, I think Fudge, yes, you're right, is, is weak. And uh, hopefully this time... <laughs> Okay, now here's where they could lose. If Blabber just ignores top lane again, like uh, like we saw, I guess, yeah. who was that One against? The... I can't remember, but yeah. If he doesn't ignore top lane when he's about to get dove like five times, uh, you know, maybe. Thanks. Maybe it, yeah. could, it could happen. Awful we'll see. Game. Hopefully they remind him of that um, scenario before they play, but I'm still C9. Oh, man, this is so tough. So Alistair, Mitchell, and Coin still need to go. All right, I'll, I'll do the Coin now, because I need I still need to think. Yeah, I need, Mitchell needs to think. Right. Mitchell, coin Mitchell is TL. Oh! Yeah, Guess what side Team Liquid was on on all three of their losses. Blue side? Red they've side. Only lost, oh, they've red only side. lost twice. Oh, oh, you they've mean three only, times? They, the, the, lost... Oh, I thought you meant lock in against the against C9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, no, no. In, in, in regular season, they've only lost three times, and it was on red side, because I do think blue side is OP. Team Liquid will be 
blue side this game. Go blue. And blue team. I've actually seen this too. <laughs> um, wait. Am I, is that my stupid? I'm actually stupid. No, no, no. Team Liquid no. was on blue side against 100 Thieves. Oh, and they were blue oh. side against Immortals when they lost to you. Okay, I'm just stupid. Ignore me. Ignore me, guys. I'm just <laughs> stupid. I just take everything out. I'm just going to vote C9, YOLO. All right. <laughs> Ignore everything. <laughs> I mean, you have been C9, pro C9 since the beginning. That's I have cool. been. It's cool. I have been. Cool. All right, um, Monster. No more Stalin. No more lollygagging. No more I think there's a pretty man. sizable top gap, but there's also a pretty sizable jungle gap. Who do you think is the better jungler? Blabber. Blabber. I, I think right now Blabber's probably the best jungler, and then second Jose Diodo, and third probably closer. Maybe swip, swip, swap two and three. I don't know. But Wait, So you don't think Santorin's even in the conversation right now? He could be, but I think just right now those would be top three. Yeah, I don't. I think I agree with Alistair on that. I, I think Santorin's good. I just don't think right now he's. I, I yeah. think he's really Honestly, good. Honestly, I, I have just to. Think I have to admit better. that that's true. He's probably fourth right now. Just based but he's on not. He's not, not bad. He's not. He's not doing bad. I just think uh, the other junglers that Alistair mentioned have more impact on their team at the moment. Yeah. Insert mm. Team Liquid fourth joke here. I don't know. Hey, that hasn't yeah, really TSM jungler fourth. Time. That's what I mean. That, that's yeah, what I was going yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. What's your prediction, bruv? I'm, I'm trying to... <laughs> oh I'm, trying to I'm trying to stall for time here. We maybe. need a we need a time limit. I know. Spit it out. I don't want to play Yumi. All right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> See now that totally there's he's starting to think yeah, about it. Yeah. Now that there's stakes to it, he's uh, <laughs> all of a sudden caring about uh, the predictions. You uh, me. You me. You, me, Seraphine, Sona. We could put Sona in there too, bro. You can no, those no. Three. <laughs> I do not agree to that. Yeah, no, I feel like All right, Seraphine and you, me. Oh, God. You have three I'll, seconds. I'll go, I'll go Cloud9. Hey! Oh, okay, okay. Kevin sense. is the alone. Team, the team the Sven Hater is voting for... Oh, my God. You must be I truly know. desperate to come to him. Oh, you must man. do <laughs> That's such a perfect. Okay. Oh. Uh, look, that fire, that does it for all our predictions. Yes, oh my sir. gosh, TSM's gonna go three and zero this week. I believe. I'm so ready, and Alistair will be wearing the hashtag TSM win on his forehead. So be sure to check that out, guys. Do you have any last things you want to say before we wrap up the show? Um. No, just hashtag TSM win, baby. Hashtag Shout TSM out. win. Uh, if you're Let's watching go. this uh, during the Excellency broadcast, good luck to all who are playing. Uh, and thanks again for your support. If you want to leave us a comment or give us suggestions, feel free to email us at the all in podcast, lol at gmail.com, or you could tweet us at the all in podcast. I want to thank my co host once again, Kevin, Mitchell, Alistair, for always sharing their wise insights. But until next time, enjoy your climb on the rift. Try not to be too toxic. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.